Hello children, how are you all? Today we will study about fiber to fabric. Before we study about fabrics, let us try to know about history of clothing material. In ancient times, people were not civilized and they used to live in forest without any clothes, that is naked. With the lapse of time, to protect from harsh climate, people started to cover their body using bark and big leaves of trees or animal skins and furs. Gradually, they learned to twin grass and fiber of trees and weave it to make longer piece which they used to cover their waist as modern skirts. They also learned to twin the animal heads to make ropes like outfits. After learning the agriculture, people started to weave the plant materials by hand to make cloth. Initially, People started to wear clothes to protect their body but from harsh climate. Slowly, clothes become the material of fashion along with the protection from harsh climates. If you go to a shop to buy fabric for your dress you would see a variety of fabrics there do you wonder what these fabrics are made up of how you get variety in fabrics why are some material warm some soft and others rough why do some materials is go bad after washing while others remain the same What is fabric? Why do we wear clothes? We wear clothes for protection against climate, beauty and also to show status. The material that we use for clothing is called fabric. The material that we use for clothing is called fabric. What is fiber? A material which is available in the form of thin and continuous strand is called fiber. A material which is available in the form of thin and continuous strand is called fiber. Types of fiber. There are two types of fiber. That is natural fibers and synthetic fibers. Natural fibers, the fibers which are obtained from plants and animals are called natural fibers. Plant fibers, cotton and jute. Animal fibers, silk and wool. What is synthetic fiber? The fiber which are synthesized in industry from simple chemical obtained from petroleum are called synthetic fibers. Example, nylon. Cotton. Cotton is cultivated in the field. In India, Cotton is known for 1800 BC. Cultivation of cotton needs warm climate and black clayey soil. Cotton is cultivated almost in the every part of India. Cotton fiber is cultivated at large scale in the state of Maharashtra, Haryana, Punjab, Gujarat, Rajasthan, Tamil Nadu, and Madhya Pradesh. 
Cotton is shown in early spring. Its plants are about 1 to 2 meter in height. Cotton plant takes 60 days in flowering. Cotton flower turns into fruit. Fruits of cotton are spherical in shape. Cotton fruits have lemon type shape and size. Cotton fruits are called cotton balls. After maturing, the cotton balls burst open and seeds covered with the cotton fibers become visible. The color of cotton fiber is white. Cotton fiber is called cotton wool. A cotton file looks like a field covered with the snow. Cotton balls are picked up by hand from field. After picking up, seeds inside the cotton balls are separated by combing. The process of combing to separate out seeds from cotton balls is called ginning of cotton. Ginning of cotton is traditionally done manually. These days, machines is used for ginning. Machine which is used in combing of cotton is called ginning machine. Gin cotton is compressed in balls. The weight of one ball is about 200 kg. Cotton bales are then sent to the desired place like in the spinning mills. Jute is cultivated to obtain jute fibers. It is cultivated during rainy season. In India, jute is grown in West Bengal, Bihar and Assam. Plants are harvested when it is at flowering stage. The stems of the harvest plants are immersed in water for a few days. The stems are separated by hand. The fibrous part is dried and tied in bundles and sent to the factories. Jute fibers are long, rough, porous, but not very strong. Wool comes from sheep, goat, yak and some other animals. These wool yielding animals bear hair on their body. Yarn making. The process of making yarns from fibers is called spinning. Here, the fibers are not only twisted but also pulled out or drawn. The spinning process helps to hold the fibers together and makes the yarns strong, smooth and fine. Spinning can be done by using a takli, a charaka or a spinning machine. Yarn to fabric. After spinning, yarns are used to making of fabrics, weaving and knitting are two main processes used for making yarn to fabric.